So a few months ago, I, I did a trade and I did a trade with this wonderful, wonderful person. Yeah, you know, like, I, I feel like I'm, I meet, I meet really nice people um, when, when I do trades. And I don't get to trade very frequently because, well, I don't have that much to trade, like trade uh, in exchange. Um, because I'm impatient, I end up passing things along instead of um, maybe hanging on to them because I might be able to trade for something that I want. So there's that. Um, which, it's funny because um, this just made me think of a video I watched last night by uh, Shamanic Arawak Princess. And she posted a video about compulsive purging of decks. And um, asking herself the question, like, why do I do this? Why do I end up moving, you know, uh, getting rid of a deck um, and then missing it and then having to replace it? Why don't I just keep my original deck? Maybe I need to rethink this a little bit. Maybe I need to hang on to them a little longer. Um, maybe, you know, store them in a box and you know, forget about them for a bit and see if I miss them or whatever. You know, that kind of stuff. And I couldn't agree with her more because I have a tendency to move things along if I'm not using them. I feel that pressure that if I'm not using something, it's got to go. It's got to go. I'm not using it. Someone else could get more, you know, someone else could be using it every day or getting a lot of use out of this thing. And why am I hanging on to it? Well, I've given this some thought, and um, I too um, feel the same pressure that she talks about, about, you know, um, this whole, oh, I need to keep um, only what I use kind of thing. But uh, by the same token, I also find that there's not that many decks that I have to reobtain. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm on the fence a little bit about this. Like, you know, do do I hang on to stuff just in case I change my mind? Do I hang on to stuff just in case I could trade? I had the same dilemma uh, when it came to fragrance perfume because I collect vintage perfume. And there was a whole... There were years where I was just trading, 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 trading. And it was... And I'd hang on to stuff, or if I'd see something, at, you know, or I would, you know, if I if I'd see something in a store or on eBay that I thought I could then trade for something I wanted, I would obtain it, and I had to store this shit, and it, not shit, but you know what I'm saying. So her her video, like, go check her out. Um, her video was really really thought provoking and very very um. I don't know. L like I said, it was very thought-provoking. And I'm still on the fence. I still don't know how I feel about it. I do know that I sometimes move things too hastily, move things out too hastily, and then have you know, a little remorse about it. But for the most part, um, I'm okay with what, what I've moved out. And... And if I really, really, really can't stop thinking about something, well, I'll just order a new one. Which you really can't do if you if you move something out that you know if you move something on that's out of print, right? But for the most part, um, I think the um, the decks that I moved out were decks that. And then I and then I felt like remorse, like I wished I hadn't. I you know I missed them or whatever. Were decks that I would were mass produced and easily replaced. So there's that. And I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I wanted to share an example. Actually, I'm staring at one right now. But I got rid of my original copy of the one that I'm going to share with you today. Um, which of course you already know what it is because it's going to be in the title of this video. Um, decades ago, I moved my mother piece um, away, and I moved it moved it on right, um, 
and I was able to swap with this wonderful lady um, through, I think it was through Lisa's um, Supportive Tarot's Facebook page where they have, like once a week, Lisa will post if people have uh, decks up for swap. So it was really nice, one, to obtain the exact same one that I had moved along years ago. I haven't used it yet. Um, I haven't been called to use it yet. And in, in this trade, I got uh, the Mother Piece Tarot um, and two books. One of them is Way to the Goddess Through Myth, Art, and Tarot. Look at this cover. If this is in early 1980s, I don't know what it is. And the Mother Piece Tarot Playbook. And upon um, Nina Shuffle Tarot's recommendation, I did end up getting the guidebook, the current guidebook that's available uh, for like twelve dollars on Amazon. So, yeah, but I haven't used it yet. But I'm not going to move this one along. I'm not going to move this one on, or pass it on, or pass it along, or whatever, because this one haunted me. Even though I didn't replace it, like I didn't go out and buy it. This one did bug me because I had it. I had it in the early 90s and I just wasn't there yet. Like in the early 90s, I was reading. I, w I was a reader at a metaphysical shop part time um, on my days off from my like, you know, real life job. And I read with my Rider Waite plaid back. Um, and then, you know, the next and and then I added like the Morgan Greer to that but one of the readers had a mother piece tarot and she used the mother piece to do readings and I thought oh wow that's uh that's interesting it's a round deck wow and um honestly I was drawn to the backs I love the color of the backs and the design and um look at these beautiful I don't think the person who swapped them to me ever really used them, but I'm pretty happy to have them. So if you're watching, thank you. Um, should I do a complete flip through? Why not? Um, I like the artwork. I didn't when I was younger, but I like it now. Like I'm drawn to it now. And interestingly enough, this um, this deck is often compared to uh, Daughters of the Moon. I'm oh, sorry. And I'm on the fence about Daughters of the Moon. I haven't see. Um, I watched uh, Veronica Jude has. Uh, well, I love Veronica Jude. She has a video up on her channel where she shows her round decks. And Veronica Jude and I have similar tastes about some things, right? So, so that's why I'm still on the fence about Daughters of the Moon, but I'm drawn to it. So if you happen to have Daughters of the Moon and you're not getting on with it, and you're wanting to trade, I don't know if I have anything good to trade, but send me a message. Maybe I do. Uh, I'd be I'd be curious to like you know I'm not curious. I'd be interested in trading for Daughters of the Moon, uh, simply because Canadians face the same challenges as Australians and people in the UK. You want something from America? Imagine like we're like attached like we're on the same continent and there are some decks that when i go when i want to go order them the shipping is as much as the as the cost of the deck sometimes it sometimes the shipping they quote me or not me just me but the shipping they quote uh surpasses the price of the deck and it's like oh, i can't i can't and um Depending on what's going on with the economy, the exchange on the dollar, it's like, just sits in my cart. So yeah, 
So if you happen to have Daughters of the Moon and you would like to rehome it, send me a message. I'll see what we could do. Um, trade. Maybe I could buy it off you. And yeah, so like she had she had done this. So back to Veronica Jude. She did this uh, video where she shows off her her round decks. So I ended up being able to obtain this one again, which made me really happy, even though it's still in order because I haven't used it yet, but I will. I traded, not traded, I bought the star that never walks around from Lisa at Supportive Tarot when she had um, a deck sale um, in a feverish haze. I was sick at Christmas, so I... Um, and then in some other, I think it's because there's a story with this deck. I really wanted it. So I bought it off Lisa. I got it. I did love it, but the readings were really dark. Truth be told, I was really ill. And of course the readings were going to be really dark. I was really ill and it, because I was first meeting that deck, and the readings that it was giving me were very, like, you know, dark and um, challenging times and all this stuff. It colored my, um, my vision of that deck. It made me view that deck as a dark deck or like a negative deck, which is unfortunate. So what I did is I passed it on. There's an example of a deck that I should have just put on the shelf and revisited later. I passed it on. So, um, what did I do? Well, I went looking online to see if I could find it and like Amazon was like, no. I wasn't going to pay Amazon Canada prices for a second-hand one. Found it on eBay. Started never walks around. Uh, there is a seller in the UK who probably, uh, according to their eBay store, they probably have 37 more in stock. Um, I suggest that if you're interested in that deck, you go on to eBay and plug in the store never walks around. It's really affordable. I think it's uh, 19, 19 pounds, plus the shipping is really um, just airmail shipping. You know what I mean? Like they're not charging global priority bullshit, which it's not global priority because I'm paying like 30 to $40 in shipping for something that shows up in the same amount of time as just regular mail. It's, that's why I hold off on things, but I digress. But yeah, the seller has quite a few of those uh, decks on their site, and it's pretty decent. So I'm glad. So although I ended up passing passing on the one I bought from Lisa in a m moment of insanity, I will be obtaining an another copy. It's in the mail. I've already I've already uh, clicked buy it now, and it's on its way. It's been shipped. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited. And that so that video yesterday. Um, on Shamanic Karawak Priestess's uh, channel by her uh, did crack me up because yeah just recently I've had to replace a deck that I passed along that I probably should have just left it the hell alone um, so there's that I'm trying to think if there's another deck I've replaced um, I think a more recent one. Uh, oh my God, karma cards. Yeah, it's like I had karma cards in the 90s and I don't know what I did with them. I honestly don't know what I did with them. I think I just gave them away or something. And I ended up trading. I had gotten the ethere Ethereal Visions Tarot when it was uh, um, still independently produced. I think I got it as a gift or something. Mm. And I didn't, I didn't click with it, so I traded it for um, some decks that I had passed on that I had early on that I was missing, and one of them was Karma Cards by Monty Barber, 
and um, I think uh, also an original uh, show like a vintage Osho, Osho, Jan, Osho Zen tarot because I didn't have it uh, back in the 90s my friend read with it and it was it was just um, a nostalgia thing I wanted the Osho Zen and I freaking love it but that doesn't count because I didn't pass it on but the, the karma cards I did I don't know what I did with them but and funny enough <clears throat> if I'm going to talk about decks that I've passed passed along or moved along or, or traded or gave away that I ended up replacing I think um, Doreen Virtue decks uh, rate number one on that list which is funny to me um, and well there's there was one deck that there was an oracle deck the unicorn uh, oracle I didn't pass that along because I didn't connect to it that one I gave it to my daughter because I it, it was um, she was going through something and I thought it would have been something uh, sweet and um, kind and loving for her to to be able to uh, work with so I ended up getting myself my own because <laughs> I I I love that oracle deck uh, that, and I think it's I, I think I see it I think it's still it's still available on amazon.ca I'm sure almost um, not at crazy like not third-party sellers like still from Amazon and uh, I don't know if you want something gentle and I'm showing you the mother peace tarot and I'm talking about other stuff if um, if you want something like a gentle Oracle that's it's it's really sweet and it really taps into that vulnerability that inner child place and it's very comforting so this is my mother piece which I look forward to working with and I'm just gonna put these back in the box so I'll I don't know. I hope that wasn't too aggravating. I'm showing you this deck and I'm talking about other stuff in the background. Um, I just, um, I'm just feeling very talkative today and I'm all over the place. I got all kinds of things I want to talk about and here I am. So this is, um, so in the trade I got the deck and the two books. So this is The Way to the Goddess Through Myth, Art, and Tarot, and I've seen it on Amazon. It has a different cover now, but this cover is so early 80s. It's, it's adorable. So I haven't... Like, I didn't have the book when I had the tarot deck back in the early 90s. It's got pictures and stuff. So I... I and, like, yeah, so I, I haven't even opened it up to read it yet. But... It's one of those things I plan to plan to do. Right now, I'm using a different deck this month, which I'm absolutely loving. And then this is a Mother Piece Tarot Playbook. I don't know if this one is. Um, I didn't look. If this one is still in print. But this one, I, I like the I like the binding because it lays flat. And um, yeah. Looks like it's got exercises and stuff in it. I gotta be in the mood to do these kind of things, but I'm pretty happy I got it. And it was a great trade with a really nice person. Um, so that's it. That was me sharing my. Um, oh yeah, the uh, mother please, the mother mother please, the mother piece tarot playbook is astrology and the mother piece cards. So. All right, so that was uh, me sharing my mother piece tarot with you that I got in the trade with the books and um, rambling about a whole bunch of other stuff in the in you know in the background. Um, I'm gonna be recording one more video today uh, to share with you a brand new oracle I received uh, yesterday. I was so happy. Um, I'm finding that my depth here, and I, I've heard a lot of people say this, my depth here. So, you know, where I discover, I discovered Tarot Tube after I submitted my manuscript for my book. 
as something to just something different to watch. I just wanted to hang out with um, tarot people and, you know, uh, so I discovered Tarot Tube and uh, started watching Tarot Tube and it was 2018, no, 2017. And then I um, went on a deck buying binge, as it were. Um, most of 2018. Um, and then a depth year. I started like my first depth year was 2019, and this is my second depth year. And the first depth year, what it taught me is that like the the binging, like buying all these decks, um, taught me um, what I like. It taught me that I do enjoy uh, for my per especially for my personal use having different a different um, art style and a different. Um, uh, tarot philosophy uh, for especially for reading for myself and um, to you know even um, just because I've been reading for like decades doesn't mean there's nothing left for me to learn you know what I mean it, it, it just made me more excited about tarot like you know to learn something new to learn new things right and to look at different imagery and um, tap into um, archetypes from a different point of view cult whether it's culturally or philosophically and all that stuff so the binge binge buying taught me what I like and the first and so 2019 my first depth year I just stayed put and just held on to what I had that I did not connect to in a box and then this year was the year that I went through them all and at the start of this year I went through everything and I just moved I'm you know and I'm still I'm still pulling stuff out of that box and giving it away um, stuff that didn't resonate and but in that process I discovered what does resonate and uh, it's quite interesting um, now I look at my shelves where I have my tarot and oracle decks and it's very clear to me as I'm you know, um, c uh, not culling, but curating my, it is a collection, I'm sorry, like at this point I'm not gonna, uh, I can't say it's not a collection, because um, before I had like 12 tarot decks, I didn't consider that a collection, now I think I have at least 30 that are tarot, and then oracle I probably have the same amount, I don't know, I didn't count it, I didn't count it yet, because there's still, there's still some movement going on, um, but once I get it to where I want it, then I'm going to do a count, and I'll probably, and of course I'll, I'll make the videos, the uh, collection videos, which I freaking love watching. So yeah, so that's it. Um, so yeah, so that's what depth, depth theater taught me what I like, and it's quite interesting to see. Uh, I look at my shelf sometimes and think wow okay uh that's pretty it's pretty clear what you like stop buying shit that doesn't fit anyway that's it for this video yeah rambling all over the place um and i'll be seeing you in the next one thanks for hanging out with me and have a beautiful day Bye bye